Cryptid sightings that will blow your mind. Hey there, cryptid enthusiasts. Today, we embark on a journey into the shadowy realm of the unknown, a world teeming with creatures that defy explanation and ignite our wildest imaginations. These are the cryptids, elusive beings whispered about in hushed tones, their existence debated in smoky campfire circles and online forums alike. Join me, Stephen Bakash, as we delve into the heart of these mysteries, exploring the compelling evidence and tantalizing tales that surround some of the world's most enduring enigmas. Get ready for a roller coaster ride of unexplained sightings and eyewitness accounts that will send shivers down your spine. Our journey begins in the dense primeval forests of North America, home to a creature that has captivated the human imagination for centuries. Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch. Imagine yourself enveloped by towering pines, the forest floor a tapestry of fallen needles and dappled sunlight. The air is thick with the scent of pine and damp earth, a silence broken only by the distant cry of a hawk. It's here, in these secluded woodlands, that Bigfoot is said to roam. For generations, tales have been passed down, stories whispered around campfires of a massive ape-like creature covered in thick hair, its footprints dwarfing those of any man. Some dismiss these accounts as mere folklore, the product of overactive imaginations. But what of the eyewitness accounts, the grainy photographs, the eerie audio recordings? Can they all be dismissed so easily? One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from Bluff Creek, California, where, in 1967, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin captured what is arguably the most famous footage of Bigfoot ever recorded. The shaky film, shot on a 16mm camera, appears to show a large, hairy, bipedal creature striding purposefully through a clearing. The footage sparked a firestorm of debate, dividing the scientific community and igniting the imaginations of people worldwide. Despite decades of research and countless expeditions, Bigfoot remains an enigma. Is it a real creature, a relic of a bygone era, or simply a figment of our collective imagination? The answer, it seems, remains elusive, hidden deep within the shadowy embrace of the forest. But the legend of Bigfoot goes beyond grainy footage. Native American tribes across the Pacific Northwest have long spoken of a similar creature which they call Sasquatch. Their stories, passed down through countless generations, speak of a creature that is both revered and feared, a guardian of the forest with a deep connection to the natural world. Some researchers believe that Bigfoot could be a surviving Gigantopithecus, a giant ape that roamed Asia millions of years ago. Others speculate that it might be a yet undiscovered species of primate, perfectly adapted to life in the dense undergrowth of North America's forests. Whatever the truth may be, the enduring fascination with Bigfoot speaks to a deep-seated human need to believe in the unknown, to find wonder and mystery in a world that often feels all too familiar. And so the search for Bigfoot continues, fueled by the hope of one day coming face to face with this elusive denizen of the deep woods. Our journey takes us now from the dense forests of North America to the windswept Scottish Highlands, where a different kind of mystery awaits, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Picture yourself standing on the shores of Loch Ness, a vast freshwater lake shrouded in mist and legend. The water is dark and deep, its surface often disturbed by an unseen force, sending ripples across the otherwise placid expanse. It's here, in the murky depths of this ancient lake, that Nessie, as the creature is affectionately known, is said to reside. For centuries, tales have been told of a monstrous serpent-like creature inhabiting the loch, its massive hump breaking the surface like a surfacing submarine. The earliest written account dates back to the 7th century AD, when a monk named Adamnan recorded a story of St. Columba encountering a water beast in the River Ness. But it was in the 20th century that the legend of Nessie truly captured the world's imagination. In 1933, a local couple claimed to have seen an enormous animal, like a huge whale, crossing the road in front of their car before disappearing into the loch. This sighting, coupled with a photograph published the following year, sparked a media frenzy, drawing tourists and researchers to Loch Ness in droves. The infamous surgeon's photograph 
While some believe it to be genuine, others argue that it is a hoax, perhaps depicting a toy submarine or even a swimming otter with an elongated neck. Despite numerous sonar surveys, underwater explorations, and even the use of military-grade sonar, no conclusive evidence of Nessie has ever been found. The loch's murky depths, combined with its vast size and complex underwater topography, make it an incredibly challenging environment to explore. Some scientists have proposed that Nessie could be a giant eel, a sturgeon, or even a colony of seals. Others suggest that the sightings could be misidentifications of common phenomena, such as boat wakes or logs floating in the water. However, the enduring allure of the Loch Ness Monster lies not just in the possibility of a real-life prehistoric monster lurking beneath the waves, but also in the sense of wonder and mystery that surrounds the loch itself. It's a place where the line between reality and myth becomes blurred, where the imagination can run wild amidst the haunting beauty of the Scottish Highlands. And so, the legend of Nessie lives on, a testament to the enduring power of mystery and the enduring human fascination with the unknown depths that lie just beyond our reach. Chapter 3. The Elusive Chupacabra Terror in the night. From the depths of Loch Ness, we journey now to the sun-drenched landscapes of the Americas, where a different kind of cryptid stalks the night, the fearsome chupacabra. Imagine the stillness of a moonless night in the rural countryside, the silence broken only by the chirping of crickets and the rustling of leaves. Suddenly, a blood-curdling scream pierces the night, followed by an eerie silence. The next morning, farmers awake to a gruesome sight, their livestock drained of blood, lying lifeless in the fields. This, according to legend, is the work of the chupacabra. The chupacabra, meaning goat sucker in Spanish, is a creature of relatively recent origin, with the first reported sightings emerging from Puerto Rico in the mid-1990s. Descriptions of the creature vary, but it is often depicted as a hairless reptilian-like creature with sharp claws, glowing red eyes, and a row of spines running down its back. The Chupacabra's reign of terror began in Puerto Rico, where it was blamed for a series of bizarre livestock deaths. Farmers found their goats, sheep, and chickens dead with strange puncture wounds on their necks and their bodies completely drained of blood. As reports of the Chupacabra spread throughout Latin America and into the southern United States, some speculated that it was an escaped experiment from a secret government lab while others believed it to be an extraterrestrial visitor. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, sightings of the chupacabra persist, often accompanied by tales of glowing eyes in the night, eerie noises, and the unsettling feeling of being watched. The creature has become a fixture in popular culture, appearing in everything from horror movies to comic books, its legend fueled by a potent mix of fear, fascination, and the enduring human need to make sense of the unknown. Scientists remain skeptical, attributing most chupacabra sightings to misidentified animals, such as coyotes, dogs, or even raccoons suffering from mange. However, the chupacabra, like many cryptids, holds a powerful sway over the human imagination. It embodies our deepest fears of the unknown, of the creatures that may lurk just beyond the campfire's light. As we conclude our journey into the realm of cryptids, we are left with more questions than answers. Are these creatures real, flesh and blood inhabitants of our planet, or simply figments of our collective imagination? The evidence, as we have seen, is often contradictory, a perplexing blend of eyewitness accounts, grainy photographs, and tantalizing footprints that seem to vanish as quickly as they appear. Yet, the enduring allure of cryptids lies not in definitive proof, but in the possibility the tantalizing suggestion that something extraordinary might be lurking just beyond our grasp. These creatures, whether real or imagined, force us to confront the limits of our own knowledge, to acknowledge that there are still mysteries in this world that science cannot fully explain. So the next time you find yourself walking through a dense forest, gazing out over a mist-shrouded lake or listening to the sounds of the night, remember the cryptids. Remember that there are still wonders in this world that defy easy explanation, and that the unknown, while sometimes frightening, 
is also a source of endless fascination and wonder. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and who knows what mysteries you might uncover. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious.